quick art history lesson with Alex. All right, let me explain why this is my favorite piece. This guy over here, his name is Diego Velasquez. He's the royal court painter for this couple back here, which is the king and queen of Spain in the 1600s, 1500s. I can't remember. And they are being reflected as if you, the viewer, is looking at this as in a snapshot, snapshot of their life, okay? Now, some folks are like, is it reflecting that or is it reflecting this piece that he's currently working on? You may never know. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Ideal world is depicted through their daughter, the only royal bloodline that they have to become the queen, essentially depicting the ideal world of what they want the future to look like, okay? And I believe they're, they had a couple of sons, but they died, and there is no royal lineage towards kinghood or kingship I, I cannot remember the correct terminology there all right the real world aspect uh all these folks are depicted so these folks next to the princess are like workers like maids basically and then you have religion back here because you know religion you have the regular old dog because pets and then you have a uh, little people here and at this time, they were usually depicted as, like, court, like, as, a uh, gestures. And Diego Velasquez was like, no, nah, I want to respect them because they're people, just like everyone else. So, he shows them as royalty in this painting. And that's because Diego Velasquez is a G, and he cares about people. <laughs> Alright, uh, one last quick note. He painted this cross on his clothing which signifies knighthood and that is like the highest honor a citizen can have at the time and it's basically showing everyone that the royal court thinks of me as like the highest form of i don't know a citizen but when he was painting this painting, he still didn't have knighthood until like three years after. So he was also depicting the ideal world of his. Okay, and uh, I can't think of anything else. All right, bye. <laughs>